Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will walk through an example of a dependent dropdown with PHP and MySQL. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. Let us start by creating a dummy category database to work with. Category ID, primary key and auto increment. Parent ID, indexed. If the parent ID is not zero, it is a subcategory of another category. Lastly, the category name. For this tutorial, we will create two main categories, electronics and sports. For electronics, we will have subcategories of mobile, tablet, laptop, and desktop. As for sports, we will have subcategories of jogging, swimming, and cycling. With the database in place, let us now build a PHP library to work with it. Start with an empty category class. Create a category object. Define the database settings. In the class constructor, we will create a PDO object. This way, it will automatically connect to the database when the category object is created. Vice versa in the destructor, we close the database connection. With the basic database connection in place, we now add a function to get the categories by the parent ID. Run a select star, where parent ID SQL query to get the entries. Arrange the results in the format of category ID and name. Finally, let us do a quick test to verify the results. Get all the main categories, where the parent ID is zero. Then for the subcategories of electronics. And for sports. The library is now ready. Let us use it to add an Ajax endpoint to output the categories. 
Simply load the PHP library. Get the categories and output in JSON encoded format. Once again, to verify the output for main categories. The subcategories of electronics. And for sports. With that, let us now build the dependent dropdown. In the HTML page, define two empty dropdown selectors. One for the main category, another for the subcategory. To load the selectable options, we will create a JavaScript load cat function. Set this function to run on window load. To get the main categories, we send id equals 0. Do a fetch call to the Ajax endpoint. Return the response as JSON. As in the previous chapter, this should return the list of main categories. To update the HTML options, get the drop-down selector first. Empty it. Loop through the categories list, and create the respective options. Set the option value to the category ID and the option text to the category name. Append the option to the selector. To deal with the subcategory, we introduce a level parameter to the load cat function. If level is 1, load the main categories. If level is 2, load the subcategories of the selected main category. On window load, deal with main categories first. Update the function to send the correct parent ID accordingly. If it is level 1, we send parent ID 0. Else, send whatever is selected in the main dropdown. On Ajax Fetch, update the correct selector accordingly. Then, cascade load the subcategories if it is loading the main.
the interface is nearly complete now. All that's left is to update the subcategories when the user changes the main. Simply set the main dropdown to run load cat2 on change. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.